an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. The smallest one was Madeline. She's brave and she's clever and ready to go with two new adventures on home video. A leaky roof, falling plaster, and oh dear, a mouse. There's big trouble afoot in Madeline's house. And through the city of Paris, there goes up a cry. <laughs> Hats and coats disappearing, and who can say why? New video stories, hooray, and there's more. A whole Madeline series on the shelves at the store. When treble comes a calling, will things turn out fine? Join the fun and adventure with your friend, Madeline. It's time to go, au revoir, or you may shout encore. That's all there is, there isn't any more. in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines in rain or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. <gasps> Good catch, Genevieve. One day, Miss Clavel gave the girls the news that they would take an ocean cruise. For our spring vacation, we will go to America. Ooh, America! Madeline almost dropped her fork when she heard that they would see New York. Oh, New York! Hola, muchachas. Did you say New York? May I come too, Miss Clavel? Por favor? May we, Pepito? If it is all right with your parents. Fantastique! I would like to see a Broadway show. And I would like to window shop on Fifth Avenue. And I would like to take a horse and carriage through Central Park. All I want to do is see a baseball game. Play ball! <laughs> Not in the house, mes enfants. One morning in the bright sunshine, they left the house at half past nine. They took a train ride to the pier. Then Miss Clavel said, We are here. Nous sommes arrivés. And the little girls began to cheer. Soon we will set sail to New York. They left the dock at half past three, and pretty soon, they were out at sea. 
It was to be a long, long trip. They'd spend 12 days aboard the ship. The seas were calm, the weather fine. They played shuffleboard in two straight lines, all but Pepito and Manila. Batter up! <laughs> On a day of great humidity, they saw with great lucidity a majestic statue of liberty. She is welcoming us to America. The ah! giant green lady held up her hand, greeting the travelers from a faraway land. She is so beautiful. But of course, mes enfants, she was a gift to America from France. That afternoon, at half past four, the little girl set foot ashore. But getting a taxi was a chore. A uh, taxi? Oh, dear. Taxi! May I please try, Miss Clavel? Très bien, Madeleine. <whistles> oh! Please, take us to our hotel. Said the weary Miss Clavel. Hang on, kids. We'll be there in a flash. They zoomed uptown and crossed the park. When they reached their rooms, it was almost dark. How the lights did shine at night. The skyline was a thrilling sight when the girls went out to have a bite. At a restaurant three blocks across town, they watched the food go round and round. Now, here is a coin for each of you. Put your money in this slot, open the door, and out will come your food. That is French bread, ma petite. Now we are in America. And there is no brie cheese. But there is American cheese. And there are no escargots. That is right, Chloe. No snails here. But you can have a hamburger or a peanut butter sandwich. A peanut butter sandwich? We love our bread. We love our peanut butter. But most of all, we love each other. Mm. And we love our French food. <laughs> Next day, they met their driver, Robbie, at half past seven in the lobby. Good morning, kids. Bonjour, Monsieur Robbie. They drove around and saw the sights. From Central Park, to Brooklyn Heights. That, may petite, is the Brooklyn Bridge. It has had many owners and is one of the most beautiful bridges in the world. It is so beautiful! Merveilleux! Here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Empire State Building. Ah! This is even taller than the Eiffel Tower! There is nothing that is greater than a hundred-story elevator. With a ride back down a little later. They rode a carriage with a horse. Nicole was very thrilled, of course. And to the tiger in the big Bronx Zoo, Madeline just said, Poo poo! <laughs> this tiger understands French! They perused the city's largest stores and saw a play about troubadours. They tried some new and different dishes corn on the cob and then knishes. And Madeline expressed her wishes. What about the ball game, Miss Clavel? Is it possible? Certainement, Madeline. There were lots of cars and lots of honks as they headed uptown to the Bronx. Here it is, mes petites, the stadium of the Yankees. The fans went wild, and for a reason. 
It was the first game of the season. They wiped their faces with their hankies. Oh, what a large crowd drew those Yankees. Peanuts, popcorn, bars of candy, snacks of every kind were handy. Soon came the ninth and final inning. The Yankee fans were grim, not grinning. Lastima! They have two outs! Do not worry, Pepito. This next batter will save the day. First two strikes, and then a foul. The fans began to cry and howl. Then the batter creased his brow a bit, leaning over for a spit, and sure enough, he got a hit. The ball turned around, and then it fell, heading straight for Miss Clavel. revived the crowd. The cheers were long, strong, loud, and Miss Clavel was very proud. You have saved the day, Madeline. Hooray for Madeline! And best of all, the Yankees got a home run! Madeline, you are one lucky young lady. The millionaire, Mr. Moneybags, is giving a prize for catching the first home run ball of the season. The prize that waited for inspection was at the river's intersection. Bonjour. So, you're the little lady that snagged the homer. Oui, it is true. C'est moi. <laughs> Congratulations. And here is your prize. It wasn't something that would fit in the fridge. In fact, it was the Brooklyn Bridge. Hmm. But, monsieur, you do not need this bridge? That's all yours, kid. I already own Coney Island, the Queen's Midtown Tunnel, and Jay-Z City. <laughs> what do I need a bridge for? <coughs> he said that with a little cough. Then, in a moment, he was off. The bridge was large. The bridge was grand. The little girl stood hand in hand. Ah! What a wonderful prize, Madeline! It will be so much fun to own a bridge. Come, children. We have had a busy day. It is time to break our bread. May we come back to see my bridge? May we, Madeline. At City Hall, which was not far away, the mayor of New York heard the news of the day. He was a kind and lively fellow. His shirt was blue, his tie was yellow, and his name was Fiorello. We interrupt our program to bring you a special announcement. Mr. Moneybags has given the Brooklyn Bridge to a little French girl. What? Details at six. Oh, I bet it's because of all the taxes he owes on that bridge. High up in their room, far away from the street, the girls broke their bread as they soaked their sore feet. But Madeline had no time to eat. Huh? Hello? Madeline, it is about your bridge. A car has a flat tire. Madeline, it is for you. A road sign on your bridge has blown upside down. Madeline, it is about your bridge. There is a bird's nest in the subway lane. Oui. Oui. Merci. Madeline could not eat her supper. She worried about roadways, lower and upper. <sighs> what? Oh, dear. I see. Quel dommage. Oui, oui. We will be right there. But she knew she was out of luck when she heard about the peanut truck. What is it, Miss Clavel? Something is not right, Madeline. There's been a truck spill on the Brooklyn Bridge. The Brooklyn Bridge? 
Yes, that's right, the Brooklyn Bridge. The rainy conditions continue, and a truck of peanuts and other snacks has spilled. A truck of peanuts? And other snacks? Blocking the upper and lower roadways and the number one, two, three, four, five, and six lanes. Oh, what should I do? Come, Madeline. We will go downtown and see. So, with very little time to waste, they entered Robbie's cab with haste. The awful mess had to be faced. Popcorn, peanuts, cracker jacks, the bridge was full of salty snacks. Oh, dear. The little girl became quite flustered because her bridge was paved with muscle. How will we ever clean all this up? Do not worry, Madeline. I am sure there is a solution. Hot dogs, pretzels, and ice cream bars blocked Buicks, Fords, and other cars. Hey, Yuri Ora! It's about time, time you got time. here. The ketchup ruining my tires. I am sorry, monsieur, but it is not my fault. Oh, Miss Clavel, owning a bridge is nothing but a big headache. Madeline took out her broom and started to sweep, but she felt as if she had to weep. <laughs> My dinner's gonna get cold. I'm gonna be late for the show. I just got this car She is just a little girl. Please, do not be so hard on her. Yeah, lady, but she's the owner of the bridge. Who do you want me to call? The mayor? Did someone mention my name? Oh, 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 oh. You must be Madeline from Paris. We miss you, Mayor. Hey, this is no way to treat a Yankee fan. Oh, Monsieur Mayor, I know I am not too small for baseball, but I am too small to own a bridge. No, Madeline, you are not too small. You just need a, a bigger broom. <laughs> Does New York have a bigger broom? <laughs> we have several hundred. In that case, Monsieur Mayor, I would like to give the bridge to your city, if you will accept it. Of course we will accept it, Madeline. And we would like to give you something in return. Ah, we. Oui. The very next day, right after the storm, a big broom cleaned up the soggy popcorn. And Madeline put on her new uniform. Ah, oh, Madeline! That is the most beautiful uniform in the world! And I get to be Batgirl for the Yankees! On the field, there was a sign. Thank you, little Madeline. Will Madeline get to catch and throw the ball, Miss Clavel? We, oui, Nicole. And will she meet all the players? We, oui, Chloe. And best of all, she is going to get autographs for all of us. Madeline was filled with pride as the umpire took a breath Play and cried, ball! We'll see, and good luck. One detail, though, was not complete. There was nothing for the fans to eat. I'm hungry, Daddy. I want a hot dog. Sorry, honey, there's no food today. It was all spilled on the bridge. Down on the field, the axe got a hit. But up in the stands, the crowd threw a fit. To put the crowd in a better mood, the little girls had brought French food. What do you call these? Pomme frite. Fried potatoes a la Francaise. Here, honey. Fried potatoes. French style. Mmm. French fry. You know, this French food could really catch on. Then when the game was almost done, the Yankees hit the first home run. And soon, the baseball game was won. Madeline, we're gonna have a parade! For the Yankees? 
Now, for the little girl who gave us the Brooklyn Bridge, and for her friends who brought french fries to the USA. <laughs> On Wall Street, all the bells were rung and miles of ticker tape were flung. I declare today, Madeline Day. Until tomorrow, Madison Avenue will be known as Madeline Avenue. East side, west side, Broadway to Chinatown. To the Bronx Zoo, from Harlem to Grand Central Station, Madeline is one sensation. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Let's hear a great big cheer for Madeline, for Madeline, for Madeline. Let's hear a great big cheer for Madeline. New York loves Madeline. Ba -da, ba -da. New York loves Madeline. Central Park, from Coney Island after dark to Times Square with its neon signs. We love those guiles in two straight lines. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ba -dum, ba -dum, A great big cheer for the little girls, the little girls, the little girls. Let's hear a great big cheer for the little girls. day at a quarter to two. The girls and Pepito bid New York adieu. Au revoir, Statue of Liberty. Au revoir, Empire State Building. Au revoir, Madeline Avenue. Adios, Yankees. <laughs> and goodbye, Brooklyn Bridge. They drifted farther from the shore. It's time to go, au revoir, though you may shout encore.